coming in a week and your targets are poor all right now this looks like a circus so you better get your act together or else there ain't gonna be no war but there better be a war come on three more sets let's go let's go more on strength more on strength let's go that's better that's better that's better attention the salute Dan Captain, where are my new cadets? New recruits, stand forward. You ever been at war before, boy? So no, sir. You ever seen the enemy? So no, sir. I've never had an enemy before. Then why did you all join this army? Benai Johnson, truth is, sir, I didn't know where else to turn. My life needed a change. And you? Johnson, sir. I was born and raised in the army, sir. Grandfather served, mother served, father served, and now me, sir. It's all I know. And you, sir? Smith, sir. I was on the verge of suicide, sir. I had nothing else to do in my life. And the stranger realized to me that this was the place for me, sir. And you? Luke, sir. I had nothing better to do in my life, sir. I needed a change, sir. And you, sir? Benson Paula, sir. I, too, sir, had parents who served, sir. I thought it was the right thing to do, sir. Now, look at the person next to you. You ever seen this person before? No two people joining the army are the same. Did you all have a family before? Sir, yes, sir. Did you love that family? Sir, yes, sir. Would you sacrifice your precious life for the ones that you love? Sir, yes, sir. Well, I got news for you. This is your family now. Look at the person next to you, to your left and to your right. I expect you to be willing to sacrifice it all, to give it all for your brother and your sister. Do you hear me? Sir, yes, sir. Soldiers! Ready for duty, sir! At ease. I expect no infighting, no malice, no grudges. You leave your fight for the enemy. The enemy is out there and you keep your fight for him. Do you hear me? Sir, yes, sir! Attention! Remember what you once were? Do you remember what you once were? So yes, sir! Well, that's all gone now. The old things have passed away, and behold, everything has become new. No one serving as a soldier acts as a civilian. You will train to fight. You will learn how to battle the enemy. You will learn how to protect how to defend mankind against the enemy. Yeah. 
Nah. Look at me when I look to you. You are a special army, bred for a special purpose. You form the Ministry of Defense. What ministry do you form? Ministry of Defense, sir. What is your duty? To reconcile man to God, sir. What is your purpose? To change the world, sir. Lieutenant Carlton, sir. As you were. Thank you, sir. Let's go back. Hatso, Hatso, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hatso, chop, chop. Bear on, chef, let's go. I like that now, I like that. Come on, use that chef, son. Hatso, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Officer, officer, calm down. You see me at a place, officer. You are right. Sir. When I joined this army, I didn't expect it be, to be so hard. Why does it have to be so difficult? No one ever said this was going to be easy, rookie. But all the efforts you put in now will be worth all the wait. Trust me. Keep going. But I don't know this. I don't know this enemy. I'm going to have to fight. And I'm just confused. What's going on? What am I meant to do next? Cadets, now listen up. Two things you need to understand. The enemy started this war, and from the very moment you joined this team as a troop, he's been searching for you, studying you, hunting you like a lion stalks his prey, searching for the right time to destroy you and I. Trust me, there's nothing to be worried about. All the enemy's here to do is to steal from you, to kill you, and to destroy you. You understand that, rookie? Sir, yes, sir. Right, let's wrap up, let's go lads. Wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. Let's go. Now, mm -hmm. soldiers, you see that? Right up there, that's the world. You must understand, this is a war. People die in wars, but I got some good news for you. In this war, our commanding officer took on a covert operation. We didn't understand what he was doing at first, but he went deep into enemy camp, right to the very belly of the enemy. He destroyed the power of the enemy so that we, can be immune against the devil's schemes. And in this, we will follow his written rules of engagement. We will combat as he has instructed us to do. Because in this, our victory is assured. Yeah! What is your duty? Reconcile, to God, sir. Therefore, you will train. You will learn how to fight. You will learn how to protect. You will learn how to defend mankind. You will learn how to enter the enemy's camp and deliver his captives. Do you hear me? Sir, yes, sir. Lieutenant Carlton. Sir. First, we will start with your appetite. All right, let's go. Attention, line up, line up. Where you'll commence lunch, where you'll be served, mushy pace. No questions asked. Thank you. Where's the cheesy chips? Oh, yo, hold up. Yo, don't talk back. All right? You lot are too used to eating all these junk foods, all these unhealthy meals, engaging in unnecessary chitter chatter. And the time you should be using to study, to pray, and to train. Instead, you're watching TV. These things are addictive. They make you lazy. And they distract you from the truth. Hold on. There's nothing wrong with doing things I like. Or looking the way I want to look. All these rules and regulations. 
always stopping us from having fun. Just so that we do what they want us to do. Quiet. Do you realize that your life is on the line? You have to change your appetite. What you used to love, you must now hate. You need to understand your body is a temple. You must guard what enters it. Yes, your body won't like it at first, but you must preserve. It may not seem sweet to taste as of yet, but I tell you this, if you stay consistent to the diet, you will soon begin to love it. Cleanse your mind and your palate. You must eat, drink, and breathe the word. All right, rookies, round up. Let's go, let's go. Two, two second bar lines. Hurry up, one, two, one, two, one, two. Quicker than that, man. Oh, come on, let's go. Put those feet to work. training and we will go for a light jog. Follow me. I went the saints go marching in. I went the saints go marching in. I want to be in the number. I went the saints go marching in. On your feet still rookies. Let's go. On your feet. Keep jogging. No slacking. On your toes, knees high. That's good. Now, you will develop your power. You need this in battle. I assure you, it is essential that you are equipped with, at full power to challenge the enemy. Now, Lieutenant Carlton and I Sir. will show you how this will be done. And all I ask of you is follow exactly what I'm doing and what we show you. Sub lieutenants, please. To your stations. Lieutenant Carlton, you ready? Yes, sir. Now, observe this gift.
Who's hug? Hurry on, more energy. Come on, remember now, who come you're on. doing this for. Everything you've overcome to be this very sir, you can do this. What come is on. push? Come on. Again? But sir, what is push? You ask come me on. what push is? I can see the determination. Son, you, you do not eyes. know. You pray until something happens. How do we push? Pray until something happens, sir. Again? Pray until something happens, sir. I can't hear you. Pray until something happens, sir. Now, why are you standing, cadets? On your toes. We understand, son, that you're tired, but you need to understand, you need to understand that this is a vigil, son, and therefore you must train three things, your stamina, your strength, and the endurance, all right? Yes, sir. Wrap up to your quarters now, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what I'm saying, myself, I said, let's go. This is my domain. In here is where I show my true talent. Manipulating souls, keeping them captive, extinguishing any flame of faith that they may have left. In here, I am the captain, and I am here to steal, kill, and destroy. What do you have left to live for? I'm here to stop the loneliness. You know, when the silence gets, gets too much and you break out the pills. Please, don't remind me. Just let me go. You're here forever. <laughs> stop lying to yourself and just give in to the darkness. You know, you're my favorite type of person because you've already fallen so far that you make my job easy. <laughs> I can mend and bend and shape you into whatever I please and you will still blame yourself. How beautiful. Why am I here? You're weak, feeble, pathetic, and yet you still ask? You put yourself in this position and I am just doing my duty. <laughs> this is a mistake. Why am I here? Why do you think you're here? You destroyed your body. Desperate you were to try and fit in. So, defiling your temple, drink after drink, ink after ink. You decorated your soul with impurities. You are a canvas for chaos. I'm sorry. Oh, don't apologize to me. Apologize to yourself. Because once I'm done, that tiny spark of hope, redemption, and faith will be blown out, and darkness, destruction, and self-loathe will all that will remain. And you, I hope all that money you made keeps you warm, because where you're heading, you'll never feel cold again. You know, you and her over there are kind of the same. You've both forgotten your first love. Can you see where loving money gets you? Instead of attending your Sabbath, keeping it holy, we decided to go to work. But I paid my time! 
you can't lie to me, don't you dare. You did not pay your tithes, and for that you will suffer. Money made your world go round, so I will make sure your head goes round and round till you can no longer look in the mirror. You may all think that you've had enough, but the truth is that I'm just getting started. Line them up, ready. The angels are coming to attack us and I will not let them make us looking like fools because we too are preparing for war. Sub Lieutenant, attend to your teams. Lieutenant Carlton, I want the strategy. The truth is, soldiers, our time on the battlefield is limited. A day will come when we will no longer be able to take part in this battle, which is why we need you to obey these commands and pay careful attention to what we teach you. But what will we do if you're guns? You'll keep on fighting. Re just remember who you are. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled with civilian affairs, but rather tries to, com to please their commanding officer. And who is your commanding officer? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, sir. Good. Now, the love and bonding that you experience as being a part of this army is what will, is what will keep you fighting. And remember, we are not like those that fight on the opposing side because we have hope in a future that is assured and we will be victorious. This comes from the very lips of God. If you pay careful attention to these commands of the Lord your God that we give you this day and pay careful attention to what we show you to do, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom. <laughs> Rise up, soldiers. Soldiers! Ready for duty, sir! The enemy camp is close by. The enemy has captives within his camp. We will deliver them. Now I need you to prepare your full armor. The belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplates of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. This is the fight. <laughs> he sends malice, anger, Perverse speech, shame, self-hate, lack of confidence, lured thoughts, fornication, adultery, homosexuality, disorder, violence, and wickedness of all kind. We will resist them all. Soldiers! Ready for duty, sir! What is your purpose? To fight up the broken hearted. What is your purpose? Proclaim speech to the captives. And release from darkness for the prisoners. Formations. Are these souls what you're after? These pathetic and worthless souls? Well, you're not getting them. Not without a fight. Soldiers! 
And so the war continued, as it has been for generation upon generation. The sons of God rebirth through the blood of Christ against the devil and his angels, the kingdom of light at war with the kingdom of darkness. You, get her, she's weak and full of lust. You, He's a lieutenant, I want his head. mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, lift up your heads, are you gates, I've been lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in, who is this king of glory, the Lord almighty, he is the king of glory, lift up your heads, are you gates, I've been lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of Glory. The devil will not give up without a fight. Lieutenant Carlton! Sir! Get him! Retrieve the prisoner. Uh, whoever the sun sets free is free indeed. Come help, Missy. All right, let's go. Officer Lukeman, get her. Retrieve the prisoner. <laughs> Sub Lieutenant Benson, get her. Follow me. And do my prophet no harm. Devil, the Lord rebuke you. Sub Lieutenant Benson, retrieve the prisoner. So the enemy retreats, but this is not the end. He will return, and they must be ready. Soldiers! Ready for duty, sir! Glory be to God, who gives us victory, victory. through our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. It is an honor to serve you. What is your duty to reconcile man to God? Many wars we've been through and many wars we've come out of. Our daily role is to retrieve the prisoners, to retrieve those held captive by the enemy. The enemy will never stop. The enemy will never get tired. But I assure you, when we get to the very ends of the earth, our commanding officer will be with us to claim total victory in this domain.
It's been an honor serving you soldiers. But my time has come. I have fought the fight. I have run the race. And I have finished my work. Soldier! Sir, you rise, right, sir. Sir, I'm all right. This body fades. You rise, right, sir. At position, soldier. It wouldn't be long, and I must go. I can't be with you, but you will continue this fight. So we'll meet again. Sir, sir, don't fall in us, sir. Sir, you're right. Sir. Lieutenant. Sir. No. no. Captain Carlton. What do you mean, sir? You continue this fight. Sir. Sir. He was a great man, a man of many words. Soldiers, salute. You don't have to think because somebody is called by God to be a minister, then it is automatic for that to happen. No! God is looking for young men and old men who will have a relationship with him. People who will recognize him as a father. God is not looking for religious people. He's looking for men and women who are serious. When you talk about God, you know you're not talking about man. And you serve him as God and worship him in his position as God. The God you are serving is more than what you think. He has given you the Holy Spirit. He will guide you into all truth. What is the truth you are seeking about your life? You can know it. Who told you you need to fast? You don't need to fast for it. You only know. Damn. Two straight lines. Again, down at ease and bow. And bow again.